up? It's Joe Rady from Rady's Rides, and I'm back here at Subaru Port Richie because my good bud, Spencer, he called me up. He's like, listen, we got another Series Gray, and I know that your subscribers love these cars. And guess what? I couldn't agree with him anymore. This is a 2019 Subaru WRX. Now, if you haven't seen yet, Tom and I did a review on the Subaru STI Series Gray. That's one of only 250. The WRX isn't as rare, but it's still very rare when you look at the overall big picture. One of 750. This is nationwide, guys, and this is just for 2019. Let's go ahead and just dive head in right into this WRX. So I love the styling of the WRX. I do like these a lot more than the STI. I like this area right here with the fog light. I wish they would have done that on the STI. They already have the part made. Why not just have one instead of two? I love the cool gray khaki color. I know a lot of people are debating this being blue, but I'm telling you, depending on how much light you have, it really changes the appearance of the car. And I think that Subaru definitely went in the right direction with the styling that they first showcased back this year, 2018, um, bringing it into 2019. So I love the piano black uh, grill. I like the flatter black down here. The reason why I'm glad that they went with a flat black is that it's gonna take more abuse from rocks and stones and whatnot. And we know about that paint quality on the front end of Subarus. It's almost like somebody took a crayon and just painted on there. It's very, very thin. So I'm glad that they went with a larger area for that front radiator. But I do love the color on this WRX, one of 750. There's our functional uh, hood scoop. Remember, sneaking underneath that hood scoop is that two liter FA motor that came out in 2015, 268 horsepower out of that two liter flat four, turbocharged engine, wonderful all wheel drive. That's Subaru all day long. Let's check out the side. I love the style of the 18 inch wheels. Now with the series gray, you don't get the Bilstein suspension like you do on the STI, but you automatically get all the performance package goodies. You're gonna get the improved uh, brake pads that come with the performance package. And I really like the red calipers, how they pop with the 18 inch wheel and a nice gunmetal gray with that beautiful, just awesome color. I mean, it, it really does change the appearance and it pops off of your screen, I'm sure, because it's really popping right before my eyes. Now with series gray, you're looking at darked out um, badging. What I would have liked to seen, I'm gonna give it a zonk, is with the WRX, if they would have filled that in with the red. If you had the red from the brake caliper on the WRX, I think it just would have allowed it to pop, but it's, I like it better in the black than then that shiny chrome finish. Another uh, thing you're gonna get with the series gray is the black mirrors. These are the mirrors that are blacked out just like on the Type RA, just like on the STI. So you're gonna get those on the WRX as well. As we go back on the roof, you're gonna get a blacked out shark fin. That is because you know the car is equipped with Sirius XM and all those goodies. And we'll get to the interior because remember for 2019, first time Subaru, thank you, Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. Where have they been all this time? They're now finally in the WRX and the STI. As we work our way to the back, I always like the look very clean on a WRX, just a nice kick up uh, rear trunk lid spoiler, nothing too crazy. And I really like Here's our blacked out uh, badging again. You got the Subaru, you got the all wheel drive uh, and the WRX emblem, and then very, very clean diffuser. This is the same rear end as a 2015. So from 2015 to 2019, no differences. Let's go ahead and check out that FA motor because that's another place where since 2015, there haven't been any changes, but let's check it out anyways. All right, guys, here we are underneath the hood, series grade WRX. There's that FA motor. Remember, it's a direct injected turbocharged flat four turbocharged engine. You look at 268 horsepower. That's gonna give you a zero to 60 time made it with that six speed transmission of around 5.3, 5.2 seconds. You can see that with the FA motor, they decided to do a top mount um, oil filter. You don't have to get to that from underneath anymore. And there's the intercooler, functional air scoop. Now remember with the WRX, 
the intercooler is smaller. On an STI, it would actually take up all of this area that's being hidden by the plastic. Now, the plastic serves a purpose. As you can see, when the hood closes, this rubber seal is gonna fit nicely against this opening, and it's gonna make sure that it has an airtight function to get the air to that intercooler because that's really going to help you create that boost, create that extra power. Other than that, I love the layout of the engine compartment. That flat four really keeps the center of gravity low to increase with that handling and then made it to the six speed with the all wheel drive. It's really an unbeatable package. And I know a lot of you that live up north and in snowy areas, it really helps you get through those winter months of the year. Whereas down here in Florida, the biggest thing we need to worry about is when it's pouring uh, or like hurricane season. But anyways, let's go ahead and fire up this WRX and see what it sounds like. guys here we are inside the series gray that 2019 wrx one of 750 you're going to get all that performance stuff check out the recaros i love the fit and finish of these seats i like the alcantara center i like the leather with the red that they're using the only deficit is that they don't change the bottom this is a stock sti bottom with the Recaro back. So I would like to see just a little bit more bolstering, especially if you're gonna track this car or autocross it. It would help you in a lot more. But I know Big Guns McGee, he loves these Recaros compared to my RS because it gives him a little bit more room because of his bigger tree trunk arms. Check out on the door panel. I do like the way they have the leather on the back where your arm goes. And there's also leather on the actual armrest with that contrast stitching very very nice touch as i'm sure many of you are aware subaru's been up in their game on the interior i love the waterfall infotainment system yes the screen could be a little bit bigger but i promise you if you've been in an older subaru wx or an sti you know that they've come a long way the starlink system is very easy to use very clear graphics this is my favorite this is my favorite part of the interior is that gauge pod above the infotainment. I don't know if Tom could show you, but it features a wonderful boost gauge. I do have the car running. You can see the boost pressure building in. It shows uh, throttle uh, percentage. It shows obviously your clock. And also when it comes to your uh, AC controls, this does not have dual climate. I do like the leather hood that they're putting on these, but this does not have dual climate like the STI. So it is very simplistic, very easy to use, but I would like to see dual climate, especially in a series gray option car. This one is also option with the short throw shifter. Now this gearbox is nowhere near as nice as an STI, but it is still a very slick shifting transmission. The throws are fairly short, even with the short throw kit. And you know what? If you don't like it, there are companies that even make a shorter throw kit for these gearboxes. It also has the optional uh, STI shift knob. Very nice size. I would like to see it just a little bit larger, but I do like the numbering and the nice finish on it. It looks really uh, upscale and just wraps off the whole shifter package better. I do like the way it has WRX. Right here is where you lose me a little bit. The plastic is a little bit hard, so I would have to zonk it for that. The appearance just looks a little cheaper than on the STI, and that's obviously going to adjust with the price point. And then there's that armrest. I know some of you love it. I hate it. This armrest is too low. I wish it was right about there. If it was right about there, you could still do your clean shifting and still have plenty of room. To be honest with you, on the Series Gray, I wish they would have had an adjustable one just to make it a little bit more special since they are saving the money without giving you those Bilstein shock absorbers like on the STI. Why don't you come on over here and I'll show you the business end of this series gray WRX. Come on over and check it out. All right guys, here's the business end. Now if you're wondering MSRP for this series gray, you're looking at a tad under 35,000 MSRP, um, but you are getting some extra niceties there that you're not getting on your standard WRX, especially with all the performance package goodies. I like the size of the steering wheel. One thing you'll notice is you don't get the Alcantara steering wheel out of the Series Gray STI. You get the standard leather steering wheel. Still nice material. 
I've noticed that the WRX is not as high as quality as the standard STI steering wheel, but it's a great shape, great size, great feel. I've always loved the, the gauges, the backlit gauges on the WRX and the STI. You had that information um, LED center display there, really well laid out, very easy to read, um, and just something that I know on some other cars that I've reviewed or even my own RS, uh, I would like to see an upgrade in those gauges. Pedals. Pedals on a WRX and an STI come from heaven. They really do, race car heaven. Because where that brake pedal is, is perfectly in position for you to blip that gas pedal. So that you could do those wonderful heel toe downshifts, just like Colin McRae, just like Kimi Raikkonen or whoever you follow nowadays or from the past. One final thing before we wrap it up, this also has that driver power seat, which is really nice, especially if you wanna get some of that control so that you could tailor the seat perfect to you so that you could sit in it just like a nice isotoner glove. But anyways, if you're ready, I'm ready to wrap this one up. All right, guys, it's been one hell of a day here at Subaru Poor Richie. Definitely got to give a huge shout out and a thank you. I'm so grateful, Spencer, for all your hard work, your help in alerting me. As soon as these cars come in off the trailer, he calls me up and I'm here to bring them to you guys. If these are the types of cars you like to see on Ready's Rise, those Subaru WRXs, no matter what they are, leave a comment in that comment section. If you have not hit subscribe yet, honestly, what are you waiting for? Every single day, I'm uploading a quality video and I just keep bringing you back for more and more. Variety for everybody from muscle cars, classic cars, imports, hot rods, whatever it is that you like, you can find it here on Ready's Rides. If you have been a subscriber, thank you. Thank you for being part of this journey. Thank you for being part of the community and the family here on Radies Rides. I really love what we're doing here and it just keeps getting better and better and I can't wait to see what tomorrow and the next day and the next day is gonna bring because it's gonna be awesome and we get to share it all together, you and I and Tom and everybody else. If you haven't been to my Instagram, my Twitter, my Facebook pages, definitely check all those out. All original Radies Rides content all the time. I don't copy and paste other people's photos and put them on there. It's all stuff that we film, we shoot, and we put up there, especially to let you know what's coming. Little sneak peeks and whatnot. If you haven't gotten yourself some Radies Rides merch, how do you do it? I put a link at the beginning of this video. You could have clicked on that. If you didn't want to do that and you wanted to watch it all the way through, click on the About tab of my YouTube homepage. Lower left-hand corner, it says Radies Rides Merch Store. Click on that, it takes you to Spreadshirt. There's a plethora of items. We got the holidays coming up, birthdays, people getting baptized, people being born. Get them Radies Rides merch. They're gonna love you forever. Can't forget the biggest love of all. Tom Moshner, his heart's almost as big as his arms. He's got a big heart, but can you imagine his arms are that much bigger? Tom's doing an awesome job working the camera. He's making me laugh right now, but he's working that camera like a champ. I really honestly think we have some of the best camera work on YouTube and I think many of you would agree so definitely show him some love in that comment section wish him well because December 1st is almost here for his big powerlifting competition we know he's gonna bring it home he's bringing home the gold for Rady's rides so thank you Tom for all that you do and just like always guys I'll see you on the next ride